Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to rebuild your dirt jumps to get them looking like this to this. You'll need some common tools. First of all, a square mouth shovel, a water source, you can carry the water in a watering can or even a bottle with some holes in the lid. I'm lucky enough to have my house right near where my jumps are, so I just have a long hose to the tap. If you have a river, a dam or anything like that, you can just carry the water from there. If not, it would be a good idea to put a tank at your jumps. And if you have none of those, you might have to just wait for the rain. The next thing you'll need is a broom. It helps to smooth the jumps out. The next three things you don't really need, but they make it easier. The first step is to smash up the jump. When you're smashing up the jump, you want to try not to knock the jump down because you're only going to waste time having to build it up again. The aim is just to break up all the hard stuff. After you finish breaking the jump up, you want to start watering the pile of dirt. Soaking the dirt with water at this stage is very important. It makes it easier to build the jump up and it also helps to prevent the jump from collapsing. The next step is to add some fresh dirt. I'm going to be adding quite a lot because I want to make the landing wider and also a lot bigger. You want to avoid stuff that has lots of leaves, sticks and all that in it. I have a pile of dirt here. This stuff is nothing special. Like I don't go to the store and order a specific type. This is just dirt from someone's backyard. After you've added a bit of dirt, what you want to do is start throwing it up. You don't have to add much dirt, I only did because I wanted to make the jump bigger. I ended up adding all the dirt from the pile to the jump. Once you've finished adding all the dirt, give it a good soak and leave it for a few hours or even better, overnight. If you have no water supply, you might have to wait till it rains. I haven't watered this and I just let the rain go on it. And that's a really nice consistency to help shape the jumps. You just want to start throwing the dirt up to start getting it to take some shape. I've already done this for the up ramp. As you can tell, it kind of gives a rough shape of what the jump's going to be like. Usually I start working on the front by throwing the dirt up and also I try and make the top wider. And then I start throwing the dirt up from the sides and just keep stacking the dirt and building it up. It should look something like this after you finish throwing all the dirt up. The next thing you want to do is lightly compact the jump. This will help the jump hold together for the next step. If you just wet it a little bit, it's going to be really wet and then dry on the other side and that's what makes it stick to the shovel. Now that dirt's been completely soaked, it shouldn't stick. See what I mean? So if the dirt starts sticking, what you want to do is just scrape it all off with another shovel. Also, when you're compacting, you can slide the shovel and that also makes the dirt not stick as much. When you're compacting the front of the jump, you don't really have to worry about doing the bottom, but when you compact the sides and the back, you want to try to compact the whole thing. The next step is to start cutting into the back. It's up to you how much you take off. I usually try to get mine as straight as I can. When you're cutting the dirt away, you want to try to keep it even, so don't cut too much away and work from one side of the jump to the other. And once you've done that, throw the dirt up and then keep repeating until you're happy. After cutting the dirt from the back and throwing it over, you'll be surprised how much extra dirt you get. So what you want to do is just water that dirt. After you water it, you got to let it soak for a bit. I'll probably leave this for about 20 minutes before I do any more to it. Now you can use that extra dirt to help shape the jump. 
Some of the dirt you throw up from the front will end up falling down and it will usually end up on the sides. So you use that dirt to build the sides wider. When I build the jump up, I like to cut the dirt that's on the side and put it to the top instead of having it chewing down there. But it's up to you because if you pile it too much, sometimes the whole side can collapse. For this step, what you want to do is scrape dirt away from the bottom half of the side. And then you slap the dirt into the side of the jump and build the top wider. It's better to have the dirt wet because it will actually stick. Also at the back of the jump, you want to keep adding dirt to the top corner just to keep everything strong. The dirt I use has some rocks in it. Usually the bigger ones end up at the bottom, so I just scrape them away. Next I work at the front and I try to level everything out. And what I do is scrape the dirt from places it doesn't need to be and throwing it into places it should be. Also, I compact everything just to get it all level. I like to test it just in case it's not quite right. You don't want to make it all smooth and then test it and find out if the gap's not right or something doesn't feel good about it. You can't really do this for the up ramp, but for the landing, you just want to compact everything and make sure it'll be safe to land down. So I just jumped it three times. I'm really happy with how it feels. I'm probably going to make the landing a bit taller and steeper, that's about it. Next I go around the back of the jump and the sides and throw any extra dirt onto the front. The next thing you want to do is throw all the dirt up that's just sitting there. So like from here around here, what you want to do is just keep spreading it out, the sides up top and everywhere. If it spills out to the side and goes to here, don't worry about it because you can use that dirt to help smooth this side up and build it out. Also if it goes over the back too. Next, compact the entire jump like before, but don't worry about the bottom at the front. It's time to start building the side right up and getting it nice and smooth. For this what I do is scrape the dirt that's already on the ground and I slam it into the side of the jump then hit it with a shovel and kind of level it out and smooth it. So once you get it fairly smooth you can also add water to it and then if you hit into that that's how you get it really smooth. I usually start at the top of the side and work my way down and just build it wider. After you're happy with the sides, you want to move on to the back. It's exactly the same thing. You cut the dirt from the bottom and slap it into the top of the back. And once you get the top right, you just want to work your way down and try to get everything even. So if you're working on the side and you notice like a crack like this, you just got to be careful of that because sometimes that might lead to the side collapsing if you don't do anything about it. So what you can do is just get some dirt and put it where the crack is and just pack it all in. Whenever the dirt dries out, you just want to water it, keep everything wet. So when I'm working on the sides, what I usually do is cut it, cut the sides down here. And when I scrape the dirt up, I always try to um, keep it in a straight line.
After doing the sides and the back, I go around and collect any of the leftover dirt and throw it on the front. When you're up to shaping the front of the jump, what you want to do is have a bit of dirt around here that's all wet. So get that dirt and just throw it in places it needs to go. What I mean by that is try to get everything level. If you want to make the jump steeper, take dirt from the bottom and throw it up the top. And if you want to make it not so steep, take dirt from the top and put it down the bottom. For an up ramp, what you want to do is try to get a curve in it like a wooden ramp would have. And for a landing, you want to try and make it more like a bank. You might notice I have no shoes on. The reason why I do that is because the dirt sticks to my boots too much when I'm walking on the wet dirt. Usually I compact it and smooth it one time without using much water. And then the second time I'll go over it again to get a nice smooth finish. Also, once you've finished, you can get a broom and wet the jump a lot. And you just want to go up to the broom really lightly. If you want to get it really nice, you can also go back over the sides and get them really nice. The reason why I make the sides and back like a wall is so it makes the most of the dirt. It's better than having a whole bunch of dirt just sitting out the side when it can be used to making the jump bigger and wider. And also, I reckon it looks pretty cool. After you've finished making the jump and leave it sit for a few days, you might notice there's a few cracks in it. So you can either fix these or not worry about it. The easiest way of getting rid of the cracks is by soaking the jump and then just getting the shovel and trying to smooth them all out. And then get the broom and just keep brushing until the cracks get filled up. And then after that, get some dry dirt and cover it all. Usually the jumps don't crack this bad, but lately we've been having 40 degree days, so it all dried out really fast. So now I'll show you how to fix the bigger cracks. Get some dirt and add it to a wheelbarrow, then mix it with some water until it's like thick mud. Then grab some of the mud and push it into the cracks. You can smooth it out with a shovel and then a broom. Just like that. So that's how you fix the cracks. Usually I wouldn't bother fixing them, but I just did it for the sake of this video. So once you've finished making the jump and it's gone completely rock hard, it's time to test it. Make sure you let the jump go completely hard before you ride it, otherwise you end up with ruts where you sink. The jumps will last a long time if you take care of them, so what you can do is give them a light coat of water before you ride. And also, if you know there's going to be heavy rain, you can also tap your jumps up. So this was how I rebuild my dirt jumps. It may not work with your type of dirt, or there might be better ways to do it. I'm only self-taught, so you can always go out and experiment and see what works for you. Now you can have some fun riding your freshly rebuilt jumps. Feel free to share this video with your friends. And also, if you do end up rebuilding some jumps, tag me on Instagram. Thanks for watching everyone.